Hello everyone. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and are making some really good trades. Now let's dive in into some GME GameStop analysis. Very unfortunate as uh, you guys probably can tell. Let's get into the after or sorry the extended trading hours. You can see GameStop has uh, dropped quite a bit here uh, since its uh, earnings report. And, you know, we got a little bit of a bounce here, but uh, now what I would classify this as is no longer a one two one two setup. And yeah, full disclosure, I'm still holding my options from the lows here. They're going to lose a lot of value tomorrow if we gap down. And especially if the markets continue, you know, to trade down in the after hours, uh, you could see the USD JPY trade is definitely suffering at the moment. So whoever is, uh, you know, in, in, in Japanese dollars is winning and the whoever's holding US dollars is losing and that's putting this is putting pressure uh, on US equities at the moment but anyways let me let me get back to what's going on for uh, uh, GameStop here so am I still bullish yeah I'm still bullish because for you to invalidate this pattern you need to come back down and stop uh, stop this you know you need to cross this pivot you need to invalidate this wave 2 setup here so you get a one two one two set up on a larger time frame. Someone asked me to eliminate some of the uh, regular some of the lines here. I I think they're talking about the smaller time frames, like this, right? Or these ones that I have on the side. Um, but uh, because he said they were useless again, if you know Elliott Wave, you know that these larger ones are not useless. They're actually quite useful, and you don't want to get rid of them. And uh, I mean, in the medium term, this one's invalidated because you're going to gap down tomorrow. So what could this be, right? For you to invalidate this setup, then you need to break this low. So this two is going to extend tomorrow. And what this is now, now we know that this is no longer a one, two, one, two. It's going to be a flat, right? And flats are very difficult to, to, to notice because they, they always set, tend to play up like this. So you make a new high and then you rip it down in a C leg. So what's the target for tomorrow's level? So this was a buy the dip, buy the dip level. This was respected, and it, it, we did reverse up. So this was this was a nice setup here. And if we do end up playing, sorry, continuing downwards, then I'm gonna have a flat target here for you guys in just a moment. Let me make sure I'm getting the accurate levels for GameStop. All right, so GameStop, the flat target would be down here, down here at twenty dollars and eighty eight cents. Uh, as low as $19 and 60 cents and if you break this pivot then this pivot is going to extend so I would actually raise it to above this level here so if you're trying to dip by tomorrow let me actually just check to see if this is entering this buy area in the in the after hours I think I think it did put this here we'll put it to after extended trading hours so yeah, there you go. Look at the flat. So the flat um, from the B wave, right? A, B, C, and then you enter the flat target, right? And then you reversed from it so far, right? Things can definitely change tomorrow. If you, if you gap down and you go below this area, then you want to pay attention to the pivot down here. If we go below this pivot, I'll probably stop out of my calls, right? I'll just take the loss. I'll move on. Right, I know how to move on from a trade, uh, and and some people are like, uh, you know, we've been waiting so long, stuff like that. Very impatient. I can tell these people are not made for the stock market or made for trading. Or some people are saying, I've been waiting since 2020. Right, 2020. My best guess is that they've been holding from the highs here, or holding from a level that they FOMO'd into. Again, that's terrible terrible thing to do in trading chasing a trade right they chased they got wrecked and they're mad they're still mad they're mad from three years ago or they just don't i mean there's people that i've been holding from these levels here that don't care either right and they've just been just been you know continuing continuing to hold and it's fine it's, for them it's fine i guess the people who aren't mad it's fine but for the people who are mad and think that GameStop is not going to go up. It, it can. It's got, again, you, you it missed on revenue. 
and it beat earnings per share. I'm not a big fundamentals guy, so I don't really dive into it that much. But when you tend to have a lot of cash, it's it's a big positive for the company. But anyways, I, I'm not going to get into all the fundamentals and stuff like that here. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you guys that this is the dip by area. We go below here. I'm going to stop out and I'm going to wait for a trade setup to maybe get closer back to $19, $18 around this pivot that we called back when the market was crashing. This is a great buy area. And uh, I mean, we'll go from we'll go from there. All right. So let me take a look at uh, market cipher. So uh, daily time frame still looking bullish minus four ten dual band strength index uh, again things can change tomorrow after the after the after we we start trading and if things start to gap lower then that's not going to be a big positive right a uh, four hour time frame red dot red money flow trying to recover this could be a disaster tomorrow if we gap down and continue to run uh one this looks like a one two three four five but again this is just the elliott wave indicator not my personal elliott wave charts and it's looking like we still got green money flow so it could be a dip to buy weekly time frame though is actually looking bullish so you got things turning right you got gamestop is trying to turn it's trying to make its move could could tomorrow be like a big gap down and then a dip buy and you just start to run up or is it going to be a gap down and it's a disaster and it's a sell-off you break the pivot and it's just a meltdown right who who knows but for me I'm going to remain bullish until the chart is invalidated. Some people are just like, oh, I know it all, right? I know I know exactly what's going to happen. It's going to gap down on earnings. I know exactly. I saw some people, then why are you watching the video, right? Like if, <laughs> if you know exactly what's going to happen, well, why do you need to watch analysis from other people, right? I don't know what's going to happen, right? It could have easily gapped up, right? They could, those people could, could have just been wrong. And there was not, and people are saying, uh, that I was arrogant not at all right I'm just saying that was a good setup and I think we had a really good setup for, to, for us to go higher but there's no guarantees there's no guarantees in this market and for people to think that I'm to think that I'm always going to be right and I'm saying that oh my god I'm up so much and I'm going to continue to be right no that's not the case I'm just saying we've made a good call here and we've made some bad calls as well right we've made a good call here we've made a good call here stopping out of the trade right when when we when I Bought the dip here, very low risk, high reward trade setup, right? I told you guys, if we go below and we wick down, probably going to stop out. And we stopped out at break even. And good, thank God for that, because look what happened after, right? We, it, a complete drop, and then another 20% drop, 22% drop. And then I said the next area to buy was going to be down here, another good call. And now you can come up, dip buy, this level failed for me. Again, I took a little bit more risk and I traded some options down here. Played in my favor. Now we're going to be at break even or probably slight loss tomorrow for my gap down. But got to be patient with these things. When the run comes, people are going to be FOMOing in, joining the Discord, asking when the next setup is. And and, and they're going to miss it. Anyways, uh, that's that's it for me. There's no new signals here on uh, on uh, Wave Edge. I checked. Uh, we actually had a 40 green cross here, but that was a while back. And in terms of like the 4 hour, we got a red cross here. And a one hour time frame, we got a green cross there. So no real significant buying or selling at the moment. I'm just going to sit on my hands and wait for the charts to play out. Have a good day, guys. I'll catch you guys on the next GameStop update.